Oh dear. You're so funny. Oh. Hi everyone. Big day today. It's uh, time to attach the new material to the headliner. The glue showed up a couple days ago. I've got some uh, blank empty driveway here. Uh, there's a shade spot. I'm going to try to get over there and do it before the sun gives me no shade. And hopefully everything goes really smooth. I want to show this to everyone in case you're thinking about doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that at the end of the video I say, see, that was easy. There's the front. There's the back. Oh, there's the trick. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get to it. Permatex. Lefty, leave the tripod alone, buddy. the cans sit in the sun for a few minutes to warm them up a little bit I've got the I've got the material cut down so I left about five inches on either side so that I can make sure it gets all the way to the edges Got a little bit of nerves going here. I think I only get one shot at this. So everybody, keep your fingers crossed. Wish positive thoughts. That is a coat of blue right there. Well, we got the first coat on there. You gotta really stay close to the to the surface you're spraying otherwise like I was a little too far away at first and it kind of it looks like silly string hitting it but if you go closer it hits it when it's still in a fan pattern about that wide so a few more minutes and then we'll get the second coat on go in the other direction you change direction in between each coat switched cans and I couldn't push it again because my finger hurt so bad. Okay, here it is after three coats, overlapping them so you can see the overlap. All right, we got to get the fabric on here. This is actually pretty easy. So I'm just smoothing it from the center out as it lays down more. I think what I'd like to do is wrap it right up under and, and glue it on the other side. So there's not a seam right at the edge here, if you know what I mean. I think that's the answer. We're gonna do that for sure. I was just able to get the first of these three antenna mounts, these NMO, and thank you all guys for all the info you shared with me. I'd never heard of that NMO standard. Uh, but I was able to get the first one out through a little bit of manhandling, but I got it. So I'm going to pop these other two out right now. And I've got some caps that I'm going to put in there with a little silicone under them. And that should seal us up. 
So this is what I've got. These are just some uh, hole plugs, three quarter inch. I'm actually gonna take some sandpaper and just clean these up a little bit. All right, I have just put those three caps up there and with some clear silicone around them. So here's one and then two and then way down there's number three. So those popped right in, uh, smoothed the silicone. I also did it from up underneath so the silicone's, you know, kind of spooge through. It's curing up fast out here in this hot sun. The headliner has been sitting since yesterday. So everything, I, I don't see anything that's a concern. Everything looks good. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, we've gotta put the holes through here and here. That's where the sun visors mount in. I've got to pop a hole through the middle right here for the wiring. So this is a new dome light that I'm going to be installing. So I found one that was a good size to, to match the size of this little raised area, this hump. This is a two element, so real quick I'm just going to go out and wire this thing up just to see which wires I'm going to be using up in there. So I'm going to do that first. Got visitors this morning. My daughter and I just came from the dog park. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Okay. Lefty, get out there and go swimming. Get out there and go swimming. Come on. Get on out there. He's just swimming for fun. Where are you going? Let's go, boy! Look, get to swimming. Oh, don't go over there. I can't go that far. Sorry. You taking little drinks? <laughs> oh my goodness! So much fun. Okay, and the dogs had a great time because. We had torrential rains last night and this morning, so in the dog park, that creek was just, I've never seen it that deep. Holy smokes. Wow. Well, if there's no leaves coming in the truck right now, we should get be good through anything. <laughs> wow. That one shook the ground. It was so deep that Lefty jumped off the bridge into the water because it it was so close to him, so he soaked from head to toe. have to see how he's curled up right here. So let's see, why would there be two of them? One of them would be for all the time. Now let's see if one of them disappears when I close the door. Yep, so that's door. So black with the blue stripe is the door switch. So I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna have the light be supplied power 100% of the time with the green wire and then I'll control it with the switch which is what I did with the original ones anyway. Be safe and we'll see y'all again really soon. Dale and fingers. <laughs> <laughs>
we've got these are wired up like that I got the termination plug on this other unused power lead so now I can go ahead and mount this to the headliner Backwards. Sun visors. Well, we're getting it. I've got the five holders popped in up here. Uh, I've got one visor on. This visor holder here had a crack in it. Um, when I took it off and now it's let go all the way so I might be able to put a washer in there and get it to bite kind of melt it in there and that'll hold it otherwise I'll just have to like buy one of these off of eBay or something I'll finish putting the a pillars put the grab handle back on over there and put that black trim piece on the back end here so we've got the dome light fully functional so almost finished good just this one last strip and we're done so I just put the last screw in I was able to repair this visor holder here and get it to work. I heated up a washer and then melted it in so the washer can uh, hold the screw captive. So it's all finished. Here's what we're looking like. Got the new dome light. So this in total, it cost, the material was $50 and the glue was, uh, I believe it was 20 for the two cans of glue. And you needed the two cans. 
So a total of $70 right around there for this job. If you're thinking of doing yours, it is doable. Uh, just take your time, order the material, order the glue, and you could do it all really in one day and get it back. Uh, you should let the glue dry for 24 hours before you uh, put it in. It, it definitely looked better after sitting overnight and drying. It smoothed out a lot. and I mean, it's really taut up here. I really like, you know, it's very tight. It feels padded and cushy. It, it really feels nice and looks nice too. So thanks for watching the video, everyone. If you want to support Lefty and I, use the links down in the description, PayPal, Patreon. We'd appreciate that. Everyone take care, be safe, and we'll see you all again really soon. Oh, leave Grandma's plants alone, buddy. I don't think he's there anymore, Left. Hey, okay. There's nobody there. He got away. <laughs>